Hi, I'm Perry Romanowski from Cosmetic Chemist Corner, and in this video, I'm going to share with you the seven things that you need to know to become an excellent cosmetic formulator. If you thoroughly learn these seven topics, you too can be on your road to becoming a professional cosmetic chemist and making your own cosmetic products. But before I get to that, let me tell you a little bit about me and how I became a cosmetic chemist. To tell you the truth, the cosmetic industry was not something that I thought about while studying chemistry in college. I like science and got a science degree, but in chemistry because there seemed to be more jobs there, but I had no idea what I would do when I finished college. Unfortunately, this is true of many people with degrees in science. The first job I landed was for a hair care company, which led me to the wonderful world of cosmetic formulation. It turned out that I really enjoyed it. After starting the job, I soon learned that very little of the information that you're taught in college is very helpful for a formulation job. And worse yet, the industry was so secretive it was hard to learn formulation on your own. It's still hard to learn if you don't know where to look. There were a few books and magazines, but I mostly had to rely on my experienced co-workers and then personal experimentation to train me in the ways of professional formulators. This was incredibly frustrating. So as I learned to formulate, I started writing as a way to help people who might follow in their career paths. I teamed up with another formulator and we wrote Beginning Cosmetic Chemistry. This book, which has since become an industry standard, it was created for people who were in the same position that I was, just starting out with almost no formulation background. While writing that book, we determined the key information every formulator needs to know. That helped ensure that the beginning cosmetic chemist book shared practical and helpful information which formulators could use every day. Studying this book will help start new formulators on their way to becoming cosmetic experts. So what are the key things that every cosmetic formulator needs to know? Well, here we go. Number one, you have to know the industry. You have to know the cosmetic industry. When I was just starting out, I didn't know much about the cosmetic industry at all. In fact, I had no idea what companies were making cosmetics, who the raw material suppliers were, what brands were being produced, or even who was the most successful. This knowledge is extremely helpful in learning who your competition is, what the trends are that drives consumer interest, and even inspires ideas about the types of innovation that you have to make. Additionally, knowing the industry will help you find a job, improve your career, and even help you innovate. To be an expert, you have to know the cosmetic industry. Of course, knowing the industry is only the starting point for becoming a cosmetic formulator. You certainly can't be a competent formulator unless you know our second key aspect of the industry, the cosmetic raw materials. In college, you spend most of your time talking about chemical reactions and the molecular structure of materials. And while this information is really interesting, it's not terribly helpful for creating formulas. In fact, you don't spend a lot of time talking about the chemical and physical properties of specific materials and why they might be useful. But when you are formulating, you need more detailed information about the specific raw materials such as their physical characteristics, their functions in the formula, the way they interact, and of course their cost. Traditionally, this information has been difficult to get and most chemists have, a, have to hope to meet with suppliers or go to trade shows to learn about the materials that are available. If you have to learn this stuff on your own, it can take a really long time. Knowing the raw materials is important, but to become a really expert formulator, you have to know the underlying science behind the ingredients that you are using. You need to know why you would use one ingredient over another, and why some raw materials are included in certain types of cosmetic formulas, while others aren't. Also, you need to know the effect that things like the pH and the viscosity have on formulations and how you can use these things to produce highly quality, stable products. To be a good formulator, you have to know about key aspects of cosmetic science. This is the kind of thing you won't learn in college. Next, you have to know the formulas. 
While raw materials and science are the bedrock knowledge you need to get started formulating, you won't be able to formulate like an expert unless you are familiar with all the different types of cosmetics and how to make the forms that they can take. To really be able to shine, you need to know how to formulate solutions, emulsions, powders, solids, gels, aerosols, and, and more. You'll need to have a background in all of these forms and how to apply to any specific formulation problem that you're trying to solve. This is not the kind of information that is easily available in books or on the internet. The number five thing to know is to know the critical tests. Making cosmetics is important to be a well-rounded professional formulator. Also, you have to know how to test your prototypes to ensure that they are safe, stable, properly functional, and compliant with local regulations. Often you will be running tests on your formula to support claims, demonstrate safety, and even invent new functionality. Every cosmetic formulator needs to know how to properly test their creations. And if you are interested in launching your own cosmetic line, you'll need to have all the proper testing completed and the paperwork gathered to keep yourself out of legal trouble. Number six is you have to know how to scale up formulas. Making cosmetics in the lab is fine for creating a few samples, but if you want to have a successful product line, you're going to need to scale up production. And a professional cosmetic chemist knows the tips and tricks required for taking a formula from the lab bench to the production floor. Making a 500 gram batch in the lab is vastly different from making 5,000 gallons of it. Professional cosmetic chemists must know how to scale up their formulas. Unfortunately, this information is not readily available to people outside the cosmetic industry, at least not usually. Seven, you have to know the marketing process. An expert cosmetic chemist has to know the product development and marketing processes. This means you need to know how companies generate product ideas, how they test which ideas they're going to pursue with consumers, and to see whether they're gonna be successful. As a formulator, you are intimately involved with every step along the way, guiding the marketing groups to know what can and can't be done, and learning from consumers what type of aesthetic characteristics you should be incorporating into your formulas. Plus, if you want to start your own product line, you need to know how to market the products and how it's all done. So there you have it, the seven key things you need to know to become a cosmetic formulator. As a recap, they include number one, knowing the cosmetic industry, number two, knowing the raw materials, number three, learning the science, number four, knowing the cosmetic product forms, number five, learning how to test products, number six, knowing how to scale up a formula, and number seven, knowing how to market cosmetic products. Now that you're aware of what you need to know to become an expert cosmetic formulator, you might be wondering, how can you learn these things? Well. When I started out formulating in the cosmetic industry, I had the benefit of working with seasoned formulators and also access to an extensive formulation library. I was lucky, but most people are not in that situation. That's why we developed the Practical Cosmetic Formulating online course. It is suitable for anyone starting out and for anyone who wants to learn how to create safe, stable, and effective cosmetic formulas. In the Practical Cosmetic Formulating course, we've taken these seven things that every expert formulator must know and expanded on them to provide you with all the information you need to create cosmetics like a professional cosmetic formulator. We even include formulations. If you're interested in joining, you can learn more by clicking on the link below this video. And in the next video, I'm going to take you through the exact steps needed to create a cosmetic formula. I'll show you how, even if you have a limited background in science, you may still be able to learn what you need to know to create your own cosmetic products. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'm Perry Romanowski, and I look forward to working with you.